Hello. Hi. Welcome to our <laughs> review of the Coach House Bar and Restaurant and Hotel in or near Otterburn. In or near? Who so, knows? Is it... I, I've been thrown off so far by this evening's happenings. That, um, well, that's my better side look. I don't have one. So. Okay, so... We, we need to start by saying that we ate everything, but that's because <laughs> we've, we've... walked nine kilometres today. <laughs> we've walked for vertically. miles. We were starving, and there's only a premier shop that we're going to have to get in the car, and we, and, and we can't do that. Um, so we were promised... <laughs> a five-course <laughs> tasting menu. Like, oh, bear should, that in mind. We should have brought the menu up with us. <gasps> we're fools. Fools. We so the first course, what was it called? Bruss... No, a bruschetta or something like that. Brussata. No, it was a hard. It was a hard cur. No, it wasn't. We were waiting for a hard cur, but we didn't get one. We were like, "This will be a bruschetta." Yeah. And it literally was a piece of toast, like, with some cherry tomatoes chopped in half. In half, not diced or anything. No, just chopped in half. Just halved. Followed by, well, not followed by, um, and then. A topped by. Ha someone had literally ripped. Half a bowl of mozzarella and put it on top. We did now the genius of the dish was that they'd warmed it, obviously under some kind of, some kind of grill. Yes. So they had. <laughs> the top half of the massive chunk of mozzarella was lovely and warm, leaving the bottom half lovely and chilly to Stone provide cold. contrast. Stone cold. It was a contrast of yeah. of temperature and texture. Yeah, I'm gonna do. No, don't do. No, I'm in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Come back round. Come back round. Cool. Can you put it that way? Okay, yes. Can you but hold it? Jesus Christ, don't show them that view again. Okay. That was followed by mackerel putty. Putty. <laughs> mackerel putty. With, with three with crackers. The, they were the tiniest crackers you've ever seen. Shh, there's people outside. Oh, they, they were the tiniest crackers you've ever seen. I mean, and, and it was literally, I said to Eddie, how do you think they make this? He doesn't know, he doesn't eat fish. Yeah, you smoked I did tonight, home. actually. I tried it. Give me my Jew. I tried it. Yeah, you did. Because we were starving. <laughs> we'd, <laughs> we were we'd walked for like <laughs> nearly five hours. We were famished. I said, it, it smoked mackerel and cream and you blitz it up and that's it. Oh, but they'd pickled a pear that they hadn't peeled. They'd pickle... <laughs> we say that three times fast. Pickled a pear that and they hadn't peeled. And a bit of um, celery. Yes. But, I mean, if that had been pickled, I think it had been shorn a vinegar jar yeah. from the outside. <laughs> it'd been rubbed on and the And I'd run away in fright. Oh, it's so milking. Now, the waitress <laughs> comes over and she says, Shall I'll we? get your main course. We're sceptical because we've seen the main course is lemon, lemon sorbet. sorbet. So you're three courses in to a five course tasting menu, and they go, An entire course is lemon sorbet. Now, to be fair, I love a lemon sorbet as yeah. a palate cleanser. This was inedible. This was Tesco's own brand this lemon just, sorbet. No, I think what they'd done is they'd gone out. They'd gone, oh, there's some lemons around. And they'd squeeze them over ice. It was basically a snow cone, wasn't it? It, it was inedible. Like, absolutely inedible. But that's okay. We're on a group on. Yeah. <laughs> we've got what we've paid for. It was an experience. So. <laughs> and then she brings out our second mains because she clears the sorbet, sorbet so, away. Sorbet, sorbet it's away. Easy for you to say. Mm -hmm. and when says, you're sober and you're sober. Now I'll bring your mains for the second time of the entire meal. Which is duck. Duck. We love duck. duck we is love duck. Delicious. And it's with. Miscellaneous white puree. That's what we'll call it. Carrots. I, I tasted it three times and it tasted different all three times. <laughs> it's a dream pack. Carrots, broccoli and potatoes. And potatoes. Tell them what was the best thing. So, no, it, no, it... no, before you get there, before you get there, I suggested we might require steak a steak knife. knife, you know, because it's, cause it's meat, duck. thinking that the fat might have been properly rendered on the duck. That was my oh, first no, mistake. No, 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 no. Well, I see her serve several other tables. 
before any steak knives appear. It was allowing the duck to have proper time to render that fat. It was still rendering, It obviously. was. It wasn't resting. It didn't need to. <laughs> but let's tell everyone about... The, the remarkable <laughs> culinary feat that the chef had performed it's, on the dish. He's a wizard. I mean, I'd, I've never seen it anywhere before. I And it's genuinely... <laughs> I was gobsmacked. I was I was I was blown away. You wish you'd had I, an infrared camera. An infrared camera. Because if I'd pl- pointed an infrared camera at my dish, it would have shown a perfect rainbow. <laughs> Not a single item on the dish was the same temperature as anything else. So the potatoes were like they'd just been plucked from hell. <laughs> they were so hot. Krakatoa. <laughs> There's your tater. <laughs> your carrot. That was a that was a mild warmth that had been left on a three bar radiator for half an hour, like Emily Snails when yes. she was a youngin. Your duck. Now that we'd had to wait fifteen minutes for the steak knives to arrive, it was a cool, a cool, lukewarm at best. It was temperate. It's how temperate. the Europeans, because we're not them now. It's how the it's Europeans how they, they, eat their duck. Their duck. And also another thing was, um, even though we had. Identical duck breasts. Yours was mm. medium rare, whilst mine was well done. Again, another culinary feat. <laughs> to be honest. Stop. Why are you trying to tip it? Because you, you're shaking it with laughter. Um, it's, yeah. I had to wait so long for the steak knives that mine was then well done. It, it had rested well enough. So we'd like to thank Ian. Um, oh, we've not done the, the final course. Well, we haven't eaten it yet. Well, I've had, I've had a go. I'm not going to. Go on, you tell them. Well, so the final course is a, chocolate, a, bra- a chocolate brownie and ice cream. So, can we flip a, Can we do a flip a No, I'll just hold it up a bit. No, hang on. Sorry, I'll put my glass down. Um, will this thing not do a flip a Well, that's why I was doing a... All right. So, da, da, da. so what they've managed to do is provide... Even though they said, because we asked if we could take it up to our room, and they said they'd put it in a box. It's not a box. That's why i got some very funny looks walking out of the restaurant with it. <laughs> so, we have, we have half a strawberry that they seem to have managed to remove the, best, the better part of the strawberry and leave us <laughs> with the poorer part of it. There's some salted caramel ice cream. That is definitely from a tub, from like it's like Tesco's own brand. It's it's just literally grains of salt. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna. You're doing it. What's that lump? You just ate a lump. What was that? <laughs> Something in my shed. Oh, and then a brownie. Oh, and I'll eat the brownie, I'll eat the brownie. Can I ju- like, I'm not sure you can see on the camera, but there's a dappling effect, which can only be produced with cling film along the edge of that. That's been alive many a day. It's, um... It's not, it's not the worst brownie you've ever had. Oh, on the brownie. On the brownie. Like, like, look, on the plate. Yeah. <laughs> That's a design of the... Mm. But that was portioned a while ago. Also, how tiny is that? Mm. Well, like if you were at the end of a, a genuine, a genuine five course, not a four course plus sorbet, tasty menu, a small bit of brownie, all right. But don't go to the coach house in Otterburn, or at least coach if you, house, coach house. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no. Oh, if you do breakfast, we still you, got breakfast. <laughs> if you do, if you do go here, treat it for what it is. Yeah. Like get don't a burger. Don't get a tasting menu. Don't get a tasting menu from people Although, that have so, no taste. That's going to be our tagline. Don't get a tasting menu from people who have no taste. That's that's it. I saw the burger came out. It looked fine. They yeah. were Definitely just um, oven they, chips. They were. Mm. Sad times. Nana anyway. Ringy. Nana Ringy. Oh, God. Oh, I would kill for some nanaringi <laughs> chips right now. I would hurl people from balconies <laughs> for some nanaringi chips. So, all I want to say is we need to thank Ian 
our guide today because if he hadn't had us work up an appetite we wouldn't have touched a fucking thing no but we had to we we were starving we were starving so here's our review watch what you get on group bye